So Forza Motorsport 6 is finally here and today I thought I would give my thoughts on it in a video review. We've actually already done a written review and that's posted on the website. It actually goes into a lot more detail than we will in this video so if that's something you want to check out I'll include it in the description down below. Anyways let's jump into Forza 6 and start talking about it. So the game is running at 1080p 60 frames per second without any in-game drops. Forza 5 had an issue where it would drop in game from time to time but Turn 10 made a big, big effort this year to not let that happen, and they've actually succeeded, which has been great. So let's start it off with some basic gameplay. So the big thing for this year is the rain and the nighttime. The rain in this game presents such a challenge, it's so intense racing in the rain with 24 people in the lobby, it is just pure madness. You hit these puddles, you start aquaplaning, it is complete madness, and I, I don't really know how to explain it. I've got this big Audi Le Mans car, and I usually know all my braking points for the most part, but when you're in the rain, it's completely different, and all you have to do is hit a tiny little puddle, and, and you're just off. It's insane. As for the night, the Nürburgring is just a beast, whatever it is. Turn all the lights off, and it's just ridiculous. Once again, racing with 24 people there is just asking for trouble when you can't really see anything. All you can see is some headlights and, and some rear tail lights, and that's really it. The majority of the time, you're just hoping you hit your corners, and it's very, very cool. As for the physics of the game, I think they feel great, but seriously, go try out the demo for yourself and let me know what you guys think. Wheel spins are back when you level up. I have been getting some very cool stuff. My first wheel spin ever, I got a Bugatti Veyron, and that was awesome. <laughs> I got a Veyron, boys! It's just something little that you can work towards, and I like it. It's enjoyable. Forza mods are also a new thing coming to Forza for the first time, and they do honestly change the game. I was doing my Let's Play series, if you've been checking that out. In one race, I was awarded 2,000 credits for just passing people, like doing perfect passes. And I had to drive in such a way to try and do as many as I, as I could. And it sort of, made, sort of made me change the way that I played the game. That sort of made it more exciting and sort of just changed the way you play and makes it, makes it quite exciting, I think. You can also do things like dares which change your assists and make the game a lot different than you would usually play it if you use assists. Or there are things that will give you more power or braking or grip or anything like that. And the best thing about Forza mods is that they're an option. If you want to use them, you can totally go and do that. But if you don't feel like adjusting your power levels or being dared by the game or f being forced to go and do perfect passes, for instance, you don't have to use them. They're an option. Totally just ignore them. Final thing about the gameplay will be Drivatars. Drivatars are still in the game and working well for the most part. For me, I've noticed when driving in the game, you'll always have one or two Drivatars who are just so much faster than everyone else. You'll set it up on your difficulty and there'll just be two Drivatars who are just so much faster or I don't, I don't know what it is, but they always just pull way ahead and it's currently an issue that's being looked into apparently. Anyways, I think that's enough gameplay stuff. Let's jump in to the finer details. Let's jump in and talk about the menus. I think the menus look really, really great. From the week that I've played the game already, I found I've adjusted to them very well and I can find exactly what I'm looking for with no trouble whatsoever. Buying cars is now very simple and super fast. You can sort by manufacturers horizontally and then each car vertically. It can, it, it's good, it's very good. As for the car list, the car list for the most part is very good. Obviously, each and every person is going to have a car that they want to see in the game. For me personally, I wish the Koenigsegg 1 to 1 was in there and the Nissan S14. But to be honest, the car list is so diverse, it's just it's just a very solid car list if you ask me. Once again, every car is Forza Vista, so you can jump into it like I did with this Hellcat. You can just jump in, start revving it up, take a look at the engine, and just have some fun with it. Every car, once again, has their own damage model, can be upgraded, can be painted, customized, everything like that. It's awesome. There's nothing really noticeably different from previous Forza games, so if you're a person who was into big body kits and things like that, this is probably not the game for you. Painting, again, is awesome. You can toss on your decals or ready-made vinyls that other people have made. It's nice. I think that's enough of cars. Let's move it over to the tracks. I think, personally, Turn 10 nailed the tracks in this game at least for what's there. Night and rain racing are so great, but we just need more of it. I know there are people who will tell you, hey, th this certain track doesn't have this certain weather. It wouldn't make sense geographically. But for instance, Watkins Glen, Sonoma, 
Hockenheim Ring. Those, those tracks would be great with rain, and to be honest, I don't know why they don't have it. And as you guys may have heard, there is no night and rain racing at the same time. Turn 10 says it was because it would be too difficult for the drivers, but I think we all know it's to keep that 60 frames per second stable. As for the multiplayer, there are still no proper open lobbies. You can't go in and just search for like a drift lobby through like open lobbies and like, oh, this person, this lobby has this many people and they're doing this on this track. You can't do that. You just jump into a hopper or you get an invite from someone. That's the only way of getting into an op open lobby, really. My experience so far for online has been quite interesting. I've had some trouble setting up my own lobbies. They just wouldn't work for whatever reason. But once we did get invited to someone else's lobby, that worked. And 24 people online is just madness. If you watched my video showcasing the online gameplay, it was just insane. My car got launched at least 10 to 15 feet in the air. It's just crazy. It's a lot of fun. Not too bad. Ah! Yo! Seriously? Serious? Seriously? What am I supposed to do? <laughs> so I think that covers the majority of what Forza 6 entails, the features, the gameplay, what it what it includes, the cars, the tracks, the multiplayer. I think that covers quite a bit of everything. It's got a 70 plus hour career mode, which will keep people coming back. The mods will change up the driving and single player. The Forza leagues put people up against their right competition. So say, say you're a dirty racer, you're all going up against dirty racers, sorry. But if you're a clean racer, you're gonna be going up against clean racers as well. You're constantly going to be put against the right competition for you and your driving level. If you ask me, I think Forza 6 has something for everyone. I just wish there were more tracks that had night and rain racing because they are so good. I also wish that Forza 6 had social features such as Forza Clubs, which we've had in Forza Horizon 2, and the Auction House from previous Forza games. And if you were to ask me right now, what is the best racing game that you can get on consoles? I would say Forza 6. I would most definitely recommend picking up Forza 6 if you are a racing fan or just interested in cars. You will find something that you will like, and I think you'll enjoy it. Anyways guys, hopefully you enjoyed this review of Forza Motorsport 6. If you did, click that subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys in the next one.